Hello ladies, welcome back. This is the 13th bee journal video and today I'm going to be making, for your pleasure, <laughs> a pocket out of an old envelope. This is the pocket page and once you've decorated it up you don't recognise it as an old envelope at all. This is the back. And this is the front, and there's the pocket here, pocket here. There are several pockets at the top that you can slot tags and things into. This page at the back here comes out so you can write on it on the back. a little bit damp from the glue. Excuse the noises, that's my puppy playing with my shopping trolley. So, to make that pocket, I used an old Santander envelope. This is how I did it. First of all, I'm going to cut a bit of the top off to make it smooth. Gives it a nice sharp edge. And then you can decide where you're going to put your actual pocket. I put mine like so. So now you can see straight away how the pocket is constructed. But you don't want it white, you want it coloured. And so here I have my Be Happy sheets. And it's just a case of choosing which one that I want to use. As it's you, let's start off with a really nice one. How about this one? That's very special, isn't it? So I believe in doing things the easy way. So I'm going to put the glue on the envelope. This is just tacky glue. There's something very therapeutic about watching other people doing boring tasks, I always think. Somehow it seems to bring down your blood pressure. <laughs> you know, it's as if Nothing's going to happen while this is going on. And in the world we live in today, that's a pretty good way to be, isn't it? And then I'm just going to spread, spread that flat a bit. I get a good coverage. I 
You don't need to do that bit because that bit's going to be folding over. This paper is even sparkly on it. It's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Have we got that straight? Yes, I think so. Press that down and then get the scissors. Turn it over. Now I'm going to do this bit the same way, but I think before I do that, I will fill in the next piece. That will go in there nicely. So I'll turn it over. is in the bin now. I can see what she's found in there. It always looks more interesting once you get the colours going, doesn't it? So that's your bit of paper that you can journal on the back of it. Always cover your glue pot in between uses so that you don't find it dries out. Could do that on the guillotine or the trimmer, but I don't want to get glue on it, so I'm not going to. Let's 
has moved a little bit while I've been cutting it. So that's that. And now I want to define the edge. So I'm going to take I think that one. Oops. It's trying to get away, isn't it? <laughs> this one's a bit more sticky than usual, so hopefully I can get it on without having to add glue. But if I have to add glue, it's not a problem. Isn't it? Which is nice because it, it goes very well with this paper, which has also got a pinky tone. And while I've got that in my hand, I'm going to put some across the top here to cover up where it says Santander. This is a better quality washi tape, as is everything in this particular Be Happy pack. You don't get the washi tape in the pack, but it, you can get it with it. You know, not in it, but with it. And uh, to balance it up, I'm going to do across the bottom as well. So this bit you can write on. I'll come back to that in a minute. So now I'm going to stick this down to to the main part and for that I'm going to use a little bit of more glue <clears throat> sticks if it doesn't I have to use a stronger glue so I think it will <clears throat> the other one did <clears throat> excuse me it hay free glue today and 
And now I'm going to use one of Tracy Fox's tags. On the front. And I am going to use the fabric tack for that. I really am getting to the end of it now. To make sure that I don't glue the wrong side, I hold the side that I'm not going to glue. And that reminds my fragile brain not to do it, because we've all done it, haven't we? for a minute while I hunt for something to put in the pocket and don't have to go far because I've got some of these cards that I made in the first uh, video that I made. But ideally, I would like to have one with the picture on this side because once I put it in like that, the picture isn't visible. Same with the bee. I did some one way and some another, but mostly I did them on the left, so I may have to do another lot or use something else. Oh, here's one. That one will do just nicely. That one or that one. There's a bigger one there. Let's use that one. Okay, and I could. I could put another one underneath if I can find the right one. This is one of the laminated dried flowers. If you haven't got that, use what you've got. You just use what you've got in this game. These are little number tickets. I'm going to use one of these on the back. up there for a minute. It needs some ink on it. This is where I get it on my fingers. I think that should be just the right size. cover up where it says private. I 
I expect you know by now, but uh, if your glue starts getting very gloopy or tacky, you just add a bit of nail varnish remover to the bottle. So that's gone. Remember, you're not going to see this side as much as the front because it's going to be in the journal with that side showing. I think this is one of Artie Mays's specimen bees. I'm going to put that on there, but I want to raise it up a bit. So I'm going to get my uh, sticky fixes. The first ones I grabbed hold of were the little ones. So I'll use a few of those on one side. And on the other side. This sort of job teaches you patience. There's no good hurrying because you get it wrong. <laughs> that will probably be just right. And then you see you can stick something in the pocket there as well. Just got to find the exact right thing, haven't I? So giving that a bit of height just makes it stand out a bit more. Then you've got all your pockets at the top here, which you can put lots of things in there. There's even in this one Let's find another tag. I can show you what I mean. Say so you've got a thin one like that. You can put it in there like so if you want to. So there's quite a bit of space inside there and some on the front. So there we are. A floating pocket to put in your bee journal. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And again, I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Thank you for watching and thank you for the new subscribers. I really ought to do um, a giveaway, but the postage is so expensive. I looked up that to send one of my journals to America at the moment, using that as an example, is... £29.60, that's almost £30, which is ever such a lot of money, isn't it? Anyway, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking. <laughs> I hope you come back for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.